sales of sport utility vehicles or SUVs have risen worldwide in the last few years. In 2019, 47.4% of vehicles sold were SUVs, while sedans stood at 22.1%. And between 2010 and 2019, China saw the share of SUVs in car sales jumping from 14% to 44%. Indians are also buying SUVs like never before. And this is not going to stop anytime soon. In 2015, the share of hatchbacks in India's total passenger vehicle sales was at 49%, compared to SUVs' 14%. Compare that to 2021, SUVs contributed around 38%, growing from 29% in 2020. This is almost equal to the hatchback segment, which now commands a 40% share in the country's passenger vehicle sales. Hyundai Motor India has maintained its pole position in this segment. The company has five models in its SUV portfolio and gets half its volumes from them. Its sister unit Kia India, relying on the popularity of the Seltos and the Sonnet, said it would exclusively focus on the SUV segment. With their focus on SUVs, the Korean car makers have gained a foothold in the space. Led by strong SUV sales, Tata Motors overtook Hyundai Motor India last month to become the second largest seller of passenger vehicles in the domestic market. Tata Motors has raised the bar in this space with the mix of SUVs in its portfolio increasing to 52% in 2021 against 37% in 2020. One of the major reasons that explains the shift to SUVs is their commanding road presence as well as their elevated driving position which gives better control to the drivers. The perception that SUVs are a status symbol is also drawing customers to this segment. Their high ground clearance lets the driver negotiate Indian roads better and smaller SUVs which are seeing robust demand make parking less of an inconvenience. And with enough options emerging in the compact SUV segment with prices starting as low as Rs 5.5 lakh, customers looking to buy a premium hatchback or an entry-level sedan see better value for money in a sub 4 meter SUV. This could be a reason why compact and full size SUVs are now roughly seeing equal amount of sales, when a decade ago all of the SUV sales in India were in the full size variety. This segment has seen more than 50 launches in the last 3 years, which is more than sedans and hatchbacks combined. Ravi Bhatia, the president and director of automotive research from Jato Dynamics India, Give us more insights on the growth in the SUV market. SUV boom, which happened a couple of uh, years ago, has now become a very secular trend. Now, this is a uh, this is a success story because it's a win for both the manufacturer as well as the consumer. The consumer gets a practical vehicle which has more space, which has a higher driving position in the city situation, and also the packaging which is being offered by manufacturers in this area is very good. So they get a well-packaged vehicle. Uh, in terms of pricing, especially in India, because of the below 4 meter category and the above 4 meter category, the pricing is also accessible to many. So clearly, uh, the volumes have moved from sedan category into the SUV category because hatchbacks, as we know, have maintained pretty uh, stable position. Now, when I look at the manufacturer, the manufacturers make more money in an SUV. So mm -hmm. many manufacturers are seeing this as a profitable way of doing business. Because it's profitable, because customers like it, OEMs are making more and more new launches in the category. All these three things is a global phenomena and also true in India. India's largest car maker Maruti Suzuki has been too slow to take advantage of this opportunity. It only has the Vitara Breza in the sub 4 meter segment and the S Cross, which is perceived as a crossover by most buyers. As a result of successful launches by its competitors riding the SUV trend, Maruti's overall PV market share has fallen from about 50% to 40% in just a year. But that is not a big cause for worry for the company, says Bhatia. Here is why uh, Maruti Suzuki offered uh, a sub 4 meter SUV. In that category, it is the largest selling uh, with 106, 1 lakh 6 thousand uh, SUVs sold in that category. Their problem is they do not have a mid SUV, right? 
and mid suv ha- has offerings like uh, from tata from uh, hyundai from kia and they need to address the gap in the mid suv segment if they do that nothing can stop them from becoming number one in the suv category as well so they are very strong war chest they can invest in the category second they have a very large distribution network third they have a very large customer base which is very loyal to them and they know how to tap that base so the gap is not having an offering in the mid suv category car makers have already lined up new launches for the year and with maruti confirming that suv would be the company's focus segment in 2022 a battle of epic proportions is on the cards in india's fastest growing passenger vehicle segment If you like this video share it and subscribe to Business Standard for more news views and insights log on to www.business-standard.com do also follow us on YouTube Twitter Facebook Instagram Telegram and LinkedIn